Hey everybody, Tim here from Workshop 12 and today we're at Ballon, Ballon Bay's uh, workshop and we're going to be doing some scanning for the Genesis Coupe, so the second gen uh, Genesis. So we got to scan the dashboard and all the pieces that we have in there. So we'll be taking a little bit of footage and showing you kind of the process that happens throughout the day uh, to be able to make all of this happen. So right now we have uh, the very first process of things happening where you'll see that essentially the dashboard is getting uh, target stickers. So these target stickers allow the 3D scanner to kind of figure out where it is in 3D space and you'll see some other green tape that's put down there. So when there's plastic that's got very shiny surfaces on it, um, it reflects and makes it hard for the scanner to be able to pick things up. So we're able to put all of these different target stickers on here, allows everything to kind of be scanned in on the car. Um, and then it be able to pull that into 3D space. So that's the first step of making everything all work. Um, so after that, the 3D scanner will come out and we'll show a little bit of footage of it uh, actually scanning in this as well. Uh, kind of nice red laser that comes out of it. Uh, it's pretty cool looking. So uh, with that, we'll get started. Okay, now that we have the dashboard surface scanned, uh, which gives us where everything needs to fit to match essentially the same spots where the OEM trim is, next step is being able to put target stickers on the inside of the dash. Um, so this allows us to now 3D scan all of the inner frame in here, all the connection mounting points, and everything that we might need uh, to be able to fit the plastic perfectly inside there and hold the, tab uh, the tablet uh, where we want it. So that's the next step. More stickers and more scanning. Okay, now we're into the last steps here, and that's really about taking the individual pieces themselves and scanning them in the computer. So we have the dash face scan, we have the inside of the dashboard scan, but now we need to be able to pick up all the details on the parts to make sure that everything is going to fit together properly. So there's a lot of target stickers on the back of this table as well, and I just thought we'd ask Matt here on kind of the process of, of what's actually happening. What we're here doing here is essentially um, trying to think of the order procedures on how we can scan all sides of this part because uh, we'll need both the front side and the back side for developing the, uh, the final design. And it's important that we figure out the order procedures just like machining a part uh, because the part has to be held up in a certain way, has to be propped up a certain way uh, to allow the scanner be, to see it from every single side and capture the details efficiently. And uh, here we were just thinking about how we're going to flip it over, uh, how we're going to prop it up securely, and how many targets are visible. A target, the scanner itself needs to always see a minimum of five targets at one time. And because these parts are fairly thin, it's important that we position a part in a way where it's always tracked at, at, and that, part, that way the part is accurate and it's, uh, there's uh, precision in the edges that we need to capture and uh, you know, throughout, the design, throughout the scanning process we'll flip it over in different, different ways to orient the part so that the target always, always optimizes the, the surface that we're scanning. Awesome, and so we can see here all the different details are being read and scanned into the computer into 3D space. You can see all the different target stickers where they're showing up and how it's starting to scan and pick up the parts of that. Uh, each, each different aspects of that part. And so eventually this will all be brought into the computer where each of the different surfaces then need to be resurfaced to make sure that they're smooth and we know all the general areas. Now we will be redesigning the different aspects of this piece to fit around the tablet, but generally speaking, we want it to make sure that it fits kind of the OEM lines of the dashboard. So that's the, the last piece of what we're working on here and then everything will be uh, put back into the car.
All right, so that pretty much wraps things up here. Just putting the final touches on things and just snapping everything back into the car and we're good to go. So this is just the first step. Um, as we mentioned before, we have Gerald taking a look at the connections into the CAN bus to be able to read the climate control stuff to be able to display onto the screen. Um, so that is underway as well. Um, this will now have to kind of resurface and we'll start taking a look at doing the 3D modeling process. Then comes test fitting and all the other different things that come along with it. So this is a good start. It's the starting point for every one of our kits and uh, we'll keep you guys updated as we go through the journey of the design.